Welcome to our kitchen again. <laughs> We are back in our kitchen today. Today we have two Disney recipes that we are sharing. We are making some Mickey shaped beignets. I thought about frying them. I didn't really want to do that because I don't have that much oil. I don't have a thermometer, a candy thermometer. Um, but what I do have is an air fryer. So we are going to try, I've not tried this yet. Um, we are going to attempt to make the beignets in the air fryer. I'm excited to do this and for you to come along with us and see if this works or not. So um, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have a cutting board here and I'm going to spread some parchment paper on it and I'm going to spread um, some flour, just some all-purpose flour down, kind of sprinkle it on top of the parchment paper and that way when I um, roll out my biscuits, I'm not making them from scratch right now. I, I'm going to use this biscuit dough, and then use my cookie cutter to cut out the shapes. So let's, um, let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. when you're doing flour like this to flour you know the top of it of whatever you're flattening out and also flour your rolling pin that way all the surfaces that are touching are floured and hopefully they won't stick I like I like hmm? okay thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> do it Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's try to use our cookie cutter, okay? Okay. <laughs> what? That one has a lot of flour on it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That's real cute. Hmm? That's real cute. Mm hmm. Oops, that's it. Mommy, mommy, mommy. This is amazing. <laughs> okay. Let's take that off the plate. Mommy, 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 you say my thing. Who are you saying? Maui. Maui. I thought you were saying mommy. Maui, 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 you say my thing. <laughs> We've been like watching a lot of Moana lately, so. We've been singing a lot of, you're welcome, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And my, my. Now that we have all of our shapes cut out, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of them and spread some melted butter on top and then uh, the other half I won't do anything to them before I put them in the air fryer so we'll see which ones turn out better or if it makes any difference at all. Okay, so the air fryer has been preheating at uh, around 350. 
I'm going to spray some olive oil spray in there real good. And then we're just gonna put these in there now. And see what happens. Like I said, I have never done this before. I mean, I've used my air fryer, but I've never made beignets either in the air fryer or the normal way. So we are learning as we go. So I'm gonna close that and then I'm gonna turn it to about 10 minutes and then about halfway through, I will open it up and flip them. So here's what they look like after about 10 minutes or so. I kind of smelled like something maybe was burning. Like they were getting pretty much done. So I want to go ahead and take them out. Um, I don't know how these are going to taste. I don't know if they're going to really taste like beignets or not. Um, Cause I mean, obviously they rose a little bit, but I don't know if they're just going to taste like biscuits. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. So while the second batch is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and um, get some powdered sugar on these guys. So I'm not really sure the best way to do this. I might just pick it up and, ooh. I know you're supposed to put them in a bag and shake them and everything, but we'll see how this goes. Just might need to let them cool off a little bit. I don't even know. I don't know. all new to me. They smell pretty good. I do know that. They smell delicious. is now done. I'm going to take this out and see what they look like. Ooh, those look so good. We have our two plates here. This blue plate are the ones that we put butter on. And this green plate are the ones that we did not put any butter on. I did spray the air fryer before I put them in there, but I did not put any butter actually on the biscuits. So now we're going to see, yep, see how they taste. And then we'll see if there's any difference between the two, if it matters to put butter or not. So let's try this one. Can I try it? You want to take a bite of it? Ooh. Look mm. at that. Ooh. How's it taste? Is it good? Mm-hmm. I want you to try it. Okay. Mmm. That's pretty good. Now, I will say, it's definitely not um, exactly like a beignet, but it will. Um... Okay, no, no more. <laughs> um, it does taste really good, though. It tastes but different than just cooking it in the oven. Nope. Okay. Mm. How's that one taste? Good too? Which one did you like better? Both. Mm. Well, okay. <laughs> I love that stuff. You love the powdered sugar? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let mommy take a bite and see what I think. Ooh. I think I like the ones without butter better. What do you think? I don't know. They just have kind of a more crispy 
I think they baked up better too. I think they rose better mm. than the other ones did. Mm. So uh, that's that's my mm. verdict. Ooh. Are they good? Mm -hmm. You don't like it at all, do you? I do. <laughs> so basically what I did is preheated the air fryer for a few minutes at 350 and then mm -hmm. cooked them mm -hmm. for five minutes on each side. But just watch them because they were starting to kind of get brown towards the end before the time was up. So just watch them and see. If you can kind of smell them being done, then I'll go ahead and look at them, and you might have to take mm. them out. But, mm. Mm. not pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think mm. you need to put butter on them. If you want to, they'll still taste great, but it's just one step that I don't think you have to do. So we have finished our beignets. If you're any kind of Disney fan, you probably recognize or know what I'm going to make next, if you can see what I've got on my table. So I have some orange juice, I have some guava nectar, and I have passion fruit juice. Disney World serves at several of their restaurants, they serve a juice that goes by several different names. Sometimes it's called pog juice for passion fruit, orange juice, guava. Um, we had it at Tusker House, um, which is a character dining experience. We had it um, there and they called it jungle juice or jumbo juice. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it had a different name. Um, so they serve it at like the Polynesian restaurant. They serve it at Animal Kingdom. Um, so they serve it at several different restaurants and it is the absolute best juice. That was when we went to Tusker House, that was our first character dining experience ever. And the service was amazing. And so the, the juice is the first thing that they bring out to you. And that just like set off the whole meal. Like it just set the tone for the rest of the meal and it was delicious. So we fell in love with it then. So um, I've got the recipe printed out here um, from Disney's website. It's very, very simple. And it says it's from Alani, which is their Hawaiian resort. Um, so they also serve it there. Um, but you can find it anywhere online. There's um, probably some different variations available, but I wanted to use Disney's actual recipe. So we're going to do that now. Shouldn't take very long. So let's, let's do it. Okay. So here's the recipe that I printed out. All it calls for is four cups of passion fruit juice, four cups of orange juice, and four cups of guava juice. And you just mix them all together in a pitcher and then serve it with ice. So this makes 12 cups. Um, I might cut it in half and just do two cups of everything. Um, but yeah, let's, let's try it and see how we like it. Disney glasses here. These were mine. I think these were from McDonald's or Burger King back in the day. This is a Hollywood Studios one, but there's got the MGM Tower on it. Um, and has Beauty Hollywood and Vine and Beauty and the Beast on it and Tower of Terror. And then this one has Mickey Mouse. It's Magic Kingdom, I think, because there's the um, castle. It's kind of hard to see with the ice in it. 
and there's Space Mountain, and I can't tell what the other one is. I think it just says the year on it right back there, so I had it for a long time. But all right, are we ready to pour? Yep. All right, let's put this right on that towel. Okay. Mmm. Can I eat that? You want to take a drink? I'll help you. Okay. All right. I won't. You want this one? one? Okay, I'm going to hold it for you because it's glass, okay? I'm not getting any. <laughs> you didn't get any? I'm sorry. Okay. Ready? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it really good? <laughs> it's okay. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Oh man, that is delicious. Can I drink from my right here? Mm-hmm. And the Mickey Mouse ball? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's so cold. <laughs> now, I will say, um, the guava nectar is kind of hard to find. Um, you might have to go to like a specialty store um <laughs> to find that um and it actually this recipe calls for guava juice and i we got the nectar so um i can't remember though if we just couldn't find guava juice or if i found it if i saw a recipe online that said definitely guava nectar so that's what we got but um it doesn't smell the greatest in the can but once you have it mixed in here with the orange juice and the passion fruit juice it's we might need to get you a straw can we <laughs> get you a straw Mm -hmm. okay. Can I go get it? But like once it's in there with the orange juice and the passion fruit juice, it's kind of diluted and you can't really, it doesn't taste bad at all. Like I can't. So mm. it's really good. You got a straw? All right. That's better. Okay. <laughs> hey, mommy. Yes. And I had to drink the juice. And it was the hottest day, like it, and you have ice in it. It feels good on a hot day mm -hmm. to drink something cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. You're right. Just think if we were at Disney World and we were uh, walking around Magic Kingdom and it's really hot, wouldn't this taste so good mm -hmm. to sip on? Mm -hmm. The best. We have made our Bye. beignets. Not yet. <laughs> We have we've made our beignets, um, and we've made I, I drinks. We've made our pog juice, or j jumbo juice, or jungle juice, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, I think this was a pretty successful Disney food Friday, right? Don't you? Uh huh. Right. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going to be um, hopefully making a blog post with both of these. Um, so I'll leave those in the description down below and I'll leave the original recipes. Um, well, the one, get it. I'll leave a recipe for, um, the pog juice that I found. And then I'll leave recipes for other ones that I found for the beignets, not mm -hmm. for the air fryer, but like for the traditional way of, of making mm. them from scratch and frying them in a pan. So anyways, um, I hope, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Welcome to our table. Welcome to our kitchen. Welcome to our kitchen again. <laughs> we are back in our kitchen today. Um, and, and, and I woke up so early. You woke up early this morning? Uh-huh. You did. It is a big messy job. Mm -hmm. Does that smell? A little different way. Does it smell that? Sure. I don't really smell like anything. They do you smell like them, but what do they smell like? Smell. What do they smell like? I don't know. They smell like banana. A banana? It's a smell like baby bear. Mm. Okay. Maybe we'll like to eat this stuff. Mm. It doesn't taste very good, Pooh Bear. But he likes to eat it. He eats it on his breakfast. Mm -hmm.